I've got a big cutter back in here, so kind of a heavy press now. style passes here, so it's 50 a side. So you're seeing a 50 thou chip come off. and we're at 250 right now. 200,000 more to go. We'll do another 100 shot. The last big one. This one might chatter a little bit. Finish looks different. Get a little bit of porosity here and there too. That crappy aluminum is underneath a good weld. 50 pass now. Don't want to cut too much off, that'd be a problem. See there. Fifty to go. A little bit over half.
finish is getting better. There it's 78. 23 more to go. Let's see. Took most of that one shot. too much. That'll be okay. Fifty-one and fifty and a half. That'll work. So there's a cross, little porosity hole there. Got a couple right here. One little spot over there. Looks good on the other side. So, all right. So we got our depth cut. Got our OD and ID cut. So we can put a chamfer on both sides here for putting the pipe on it. And then we'll be done with this for now. So I'll get back to you when I get that ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, chamfer this edge here. So I'm using a fly cutter here with a 45 bit in there. So we'll chamfer about a 50 thou wide chamfer. That's what we'll shoot for here. So about that much. Okay. I'm going to flip this around, we'll do the other side. Change the cutter each time we do this. Reverse the direction and try to come in from the other side here. Streaming my cutter to the other extreme. Should be enough here, hopefully. So we'll just make it. Yep. So now we're going to go right to the inside of the hole here, do this side. Alright, that did it. This side we just broke the edge lightly. Yes, the camera doesn't work very well like this. But Equipment error. 
fat finger doesn't work camera button very well. Alright, so now we got the chamfer put in here. You can see how this is just a little small chamfer here. We've got a bigger one on the outside. That helps get the pipe on there. So you can see how this side here, we got a little porosity right there. A couple of spots right here. Oop, the focus kick in. There you go. I don't like that, but oh well, you get what you get. And here's a couple of little pieces right here. And one little one right there. On the inside, we got a couple floating around in there, a couple down there, a couple over there. Everything else looks pretty good all the way around. So I just, when you weld a contaminated aluminum, if the welder doesn't weld it correctly, it doesn't burn all the crap out, you get porosity. So that'd be me. So, oh well. Usually I do a better job. I don't know why this one's so bad. This head probably had a lot of bubble gum to burn through. That happens. Alright, so we got this one all done, so we're going to take this out of here and we'll move on to the next stage on this head.